Howdy ho guys and gals, Jeff King here, back again in the Denim Tools, and today we're talking Black Friday at Lowe's. Now hold your horses, we're not talking about the pre-Black Friday anymore, we're talking about the actual main event. This starts on Black Friday, November 24th, and goes all the way through the weekend, through Cyber Monday, till the next week, till the 30th, so 24th till the end of the month. Now remember, the store's closed on Black Friday, so those will be online only deals on those days, and they say that quantities are limited, closed on Thanksgiving Day, so thank, thanks to Lowe's for at least having that much decency. Anyway, let's talk about what the deals are now, because now we have the actual, like, let's see, these are for, are legit, we're going to have the actual Black Friday deals, and let's see if anything jumps out at us. So we got, first of all, let's talk tools, your choice, $59 for brushed craftsman tools, as you know, not a fan of the Brushed Craftsman, $59, pretty standard sale price for a brushed power tool from a from a entry to prosumer grade tool, so nothing to write home about there. Uh, poinsettia is for two for $3, I like a good poinsettia. Uh, wreaths, you know I, I feel about wreaths, I'm like, you can get a fake tree if you want, but your wreaths should be real. That gets you the smell of the holidays, the smell of Christmas and of the season as you walk in the door, sets the tone for the day as you leave the door. So anyway, just, just my, my own personal wisdom on that one. All right, we got the lights. They're small lights. Don't, don't go small light. Don't, don't be small light club. We got a big bulb team here. All right. All right. We got to, we got, we got to show our festivity this season. All right. 59 four piece pre-lit Christmas decor. Okay, we got <laughs> we got the mouse for seventy nine dollars and a pre lit seven that hundred buck hundred buck pre lit seems to be about the pretty standard kind of thing going on. Let's get back to the tools. Here we got cobalt. All right, your choice here and all of these. We got cobalt. We got the Dewalt and we got the Craftsman. A hundred dollars. Let's see what's worth getting. All right. So first off, we're looking over here and we see the uh, number A here is the twenty four volt max quarter inch brushless impact driver. All right, that includes a two amp hour battery, charger, and soft case. Here's the thing with Cobalt. If you're not already in blue, and, and I'm sorry if you are, you gotta hear this again. All of the Cobalt 24, 24 volt tools are brushless. They're all 24 volt, they're all brushless. They're made by Shervon. They're it's a great company. They come with a five year warranty, excellent power tools. 100 bucks though for that, that that's a average sale price. That's not a right home kind of price. Uh, we got the drill driver next, uh, drill driver. I mean, it's decent, but it's nothing to write home about the air compressor, uh, decent, nothing to write home about. Again, these are sales that I see throughout the year. This is what I do folks. I track these sales. So let's see about the, over on the yellow there. We got the 20 volt max brushless impact driver. Um, yeah, I'm, in fact, I'm I'm really not a fan of that. This is DeWalt. So this is not the base brushless, not the top tier XR. It's their middle of the road kind of, and you know, a lot of cases you call that a Goldilocks zone. I call it the meh zone. Like, why bother? Um, the, the drill driver, the impact driver. Now, the impact driver there, the drill driver def definitely has that, that look of being the, uh, the brush one. This is, I'm going to have to check and see if the impact driver is actually part of like the Atomic series or what, because the, the, it looks like one that might be decent. We'll have to double check on that. The wet dry vac for a hundred bucks. That's not a bad wet dry vac, honestly. DeWalt makes some of the best ones out there. I know Rigid used to hold the uh, the crown for years and years and years, but I recently I've seen them fall off. Uh, the I'd say the Craftsman does as well. The DeWalt does better. The uh, the Harbor Freight, the Rid, the the Bauer from Harbor Freight did better. A lot of them are, are outclassed and rigid these days. Um, let's see here. All right, we finally get we get to see some of these uh, box tools, the, the classic tool cube, if you will. 243 piece standard metric mechanics tool set there. You're getting three drawers, 243 pieces. It looks like you're getting two, maybe three ratchets in there. That looks like a decent little box set. Um, again, the Craftsman hand tools, not what Craftsman used to be, but for 100 bucks, a nice little starter set probably. Here we got the two tool combo here for a hundred dollars. You know, we saw that first one for 59 for a single, two tool for a hundred. You're getting the one typical Stanley Black and Decker throwing those cheesy 1.3 batteries in there. Utter junk. Oh, I can't I can't say I'd I'd go with that one. And then we got the 16 gallon 
corded wet dry vac. You know, it's not a bad wet dry vac. I think the DeWalt's a better one, but it's a smaller one. If you're looking for a larger one, maybe that's the way to go. Let's see, we got batteries down here. All right, we got a Werner step ladder there. That's one of the smaller ones. They're four foot step ladder for 30 bucks. The DeWalt bit set, the four pack for $26. That's a definite pickup there. The DeWalt blades here, those are a definite pass. The trade stack. Now I've got this exact same system here. And you know what? I was... I, I thought the system itself was good, but they had limited amount of accessories and stuff for it. And uh, and then the real selling point was that it, it worked with the T-Stack versus Stack system. Well, it still does that. And uh, apparently they fixed some of the glitches that were having problems with it, having it uh, keep them attached. And on top of that, they've come out with a couple more units. They've got a, a, there's a small parts unit. There is a two drawer unit. There are bags that clip on. This is becoming a decent set in and of itself. Uh, and I've looked at them. The drawers look fantastic. They've, they've got uh, uh, steel uh, slides on them. Might be a set to consider. All right, let's keep going. We're down in the gift zone. I think I covered most of this in store, so let's whiz through this real quick. We got the cobalt hammer for $6. Nice little backup hammer. We got a pair of scissors. We got the X-Acto knife or X-Acto utility knives. What is this? Uh, cobalt two-pack retractable, retractable utility knives for $7.98. It might be interesting. Synthetic gloves for $10. Here we go. Bosch 10-piece T-Shank assorted jigsaw blade set. That's a pickup, definitely. The Irwin two-pack marathon. Those are not bad blades. $10. I wouldn't mind grabbing those. The key set. I'm not a big fan of those. The high-vis key sets. We got more knives. We get the skill. Look at this. Skill 21-piece Gold Oxide Twist Drill Bit for $9.98. They're trying to compete with Harbor Freight there. Look at that set. I might give that a try. The Bosch uh, Bimetal Recip Blade Set there for $10. I'd pick that one up. The Headlamp, $10. Yeah, maybe Digital Tire Gauge. Nah. The Dual Foot Inflator and Gauge. Um, I don't know. I haven't tried that. If you've tried that one, you think it's good, let me know down in the comments. Let's keep going. we got the Craftsman Digital uh, Gauge there. We got the three-piece retrieval toolkit. That would be a good one to have. I've I've needed that many a time. Uh, the Craftsman Tongue of Groove, aka Channel Locks. I don't. I think I probably pass on those. Uh, magnetic tray set for ten ninety eight. That's not a bad deal. I missed that. I didn't see that in store. I might have to grab some of those. We got that combo hammer and pry bar set because reasons. I guess uh, if you're, gonna, I guess it's a mini demo set or something. I don't know. Uh, the spider. Spider 10-piece Stinger Spade Bit Set for $12.98. That's not a bad set. The Spider Blades, those are good blades there. I'd grab those. The Locking uh, locking Pliers, not a, they're not the best. They're not, but if you're looking for a bargain, I might go Harbor Freight over the over these. The Bremen ones, they're really good. Uh, the, the Tongue and Groove Set, that's not bad. It's not a bad little Tongue and Groove Set. We got the Bit Set over there, yada, yada, yada. The adjustable pliers, we talked about that. Um, anything else that jumps out? This QL3 one key standard hex key set there for $14.98. That looks interesting. We talked about the speed out. That's definitely a, a good get out of jail free card. There's that that screwdriver set. I can tell you, I was impressed by that screwdriver set. A lot of people jumped in, said they picked it up last year. They were impressed with it for $20. That's a comprehensive set. You got full size, you got mini size, you got a couple... Uh, right angles and you cut the bottle opener which of course we all need um universal wrench set i'll pass on that one uh anything else that jumps out the cobalt four in one ratchet handle i've not tried that uh let me know if you have and you thought it was worth getting then we got the 29 piece mechanics metric set standard standard metric mechanic set if i can talk here yeah okay uh, the Tough Built Hammer. I haven't tried it, but I, I mentioned it. I said it looked good. A lot of people commented they got it, and they really like it. I've not heard, really, anything negative about any of the Tough Built stuff. If you've had a negative experience with anything from Tough Built, let me know. Look at this. We got the digital digital angle gauge from Tough Built for $20. That's a good price on any angle gauge. Um, I'd be willing to try that. All right, let's zoom through some of this other stuff. We covered a lot. The Cobalt 5-piece assorted pliers. I would say they look like the set from Gear Ranch, I'm, and they're probably made by Apex as well. And if they're anything close to the quality, I would say they're definitely a, a just a, a slam dunk for your average homeowner, yeah, weekend warrior type. Um, let's see, we got the electric screwdrivers, 
the Cobalt 28 piece standard metric combination wrench set. If you're looking just for some wrenches and stuff just to, to get started, not a bad starter set. Oh, uh, the Jorgensen clamps, yada, yada, yada. Um, I don't know, I've, I've heard decent things about them. Then we come down here, we got the, a Spider 10 piece, not for $30. No, no. Uh, let's see, the Jorgensen clamps, those are okay. Um, Craftsman 25 piece, I. You know, somebody showed me a pic the other day in the package. The cra said Craftsman on one side, and then on the back side, uh, they'd put in, I think it was a Husky tool. So the, the Husky and the, cra and the Craftsman seem to be coming, again, out of Apex. Same same thing. Why pay for the Craftsman name? You're not going to get anything better from them. Uh, Cobalt 50P Standard Metric Mechanics tool set there for $40. Yeah. Here we go. Spider 11 piece bimetal hole saw set. Now I've used this. I went to a couple trade shows and got to play around with this. That sucker works. It does a great job. $40. I don't know about the long term on it, but uh, I can tell you it cut through some stuff like a hot knife through butter. Uh, let's see what else. Anything else jumps out? With Here we go. The 40, For $50, the 51 piece gunmetal chrome standard metric mechanics tool set. If you're on a budget, maybe you're looking for a portable set or something like that. The gunmetal chrome set from... Uh, from Craftsman has a nice finish on it, no sharp edges, easy to grip. I liked it for a budget set. I liked it. Uh, let's keep going. We've got Craftsman tools. Look at that battery. This is this is this is what I'm talking about when I say I want to like Craftsman. I want to like a lot of the Stanley Black and Decker stuff, but they lose me when it comes to batteries. This is their buy one get one free. That's their standard price for a four amp hour starter kit is a hundred dollars. Ouch. Um, we got the Cirque saw. We got the Oslane multi tool. We got the orbital sander. We got a recip saw, a grinder, a jigsaw, a battery, and a ratchet. None of those. Okay, well these are they're listed as the V20, but I'm not seeing them as the the brushless tools. And really, if you're gonna go with the Craftsman line, you, I gotta recommend trying to go brushless when you can. Especially stuff like stuff like angle grinders and recip saws and multi tools and sanders and circ saws. They really benefit from be, from being brushless. As but they they don't eat up the battery as fast. You get more power out of them. They, uh, you know that if I if I was going that kit, I would definitely get the extra battery. Maybe the ratchet. There's not going to be a brushless version on the ratchet. Ratchet's not going to get you as much. The jigsaw. They're usually doing shorter cuts. Probably okay with the jigsaw going brushed on that. Um, we got here the six tool combo kit. You're getting the multi tool, the drill. The impact, the saw, the re circ saw, the recip, and the flashlight there for two hundred dollars. Not a bad price, but again, you're jumping into the shallow end there with the uh, with the brush stuff, and it, it's hard to really it's hard to really recommend that. It's a lot of people I've talked to, and myself included. I bought the the basic kit, and I was underwhelmed with the uh, with the power coming out of those tools. Uh, and look at it, talking about being underwhelmed. Now, the price isn't bad, $350. That's a price we'd all like to like, but that cabinet is small. 41-inch, 7-drawer. It's not deep. It's not that wide. Uh, I like the odd assortment of drawers. I do like that. It, it gives me some variation in the way I want to store things. I can put like a welding helmet down in the lower right, some bigger tools down at the bottom. And, but it, and it's got the power strip in it, I'm pretty sure there and, and everything, but it's just, it's small. But for 350 at that point, you're looking at like Yukon kind of prices. Uh, the build quality, I would say, is better than your average craftsman table or workbench. Uh, most of the other ones I just, I absolutely hate. Uh, we talked about this other craftsman stuff, the bits, yeah. This is nice 10, 140 piece impact driver bit set here. That's decent. And here's our, our, our stacks, our, our, our tool cabinets, $500, which used to get you something as wide as this one over here. That is, uh, I don't know. I, I can't recommend it. I, I'm, they're narrow. They look nice. I'm a, I've, I'm a sucker for craftsmen. I love the look. I, I love everything about them except for the build quality and the price. They're, they're just not built the same way they used to be. I'm sorry. Look at the nail gun. This thing is huge. You better bring a buddy to, you can help you nail some stuff in there. Um, we got the saw, probably the least expensive 
table saw with a stand that we're, you're going to see. I'm not going to recommend it, but I'm saying if you're on a tight budget and that's what you need, that's going to be the go-to. All right. $100, 121-piece gunmetal chrome set. That not too bad. 81-piece for $69. Uh, we got the 71-piece here for $54. And then we got, of course, the toolbox there for $50. I love the toolbox. All right. We got the Cobalt. Buy one, get one. All right. $150 for the two two batteries there. Boy, prices are going up. I remember when those batteries were $50, $55 each. Now they're looking at, what was that, $75? Uh, we got the two drill driver and the impact. Now remember, these are brushless, and they're not giving you a sale price here on the left. All right, that's your, except I guess the bottom one you're getting a bit of one, two fifty, and that's getting you the drill driver, the impact. So look at this, you're getting the same drill driver, the same impact, and for fifty dollars more, you get a resip and a light. Unless you already have them, why wouldn't you do that? And then over here, you get your choice. And remember, they're all brushless. So you get the one-hand recip, you get the circ saw, you get the multi-tool, you got the grinder, you got another impact, oh, the impact wrench. That's nice. It's a, it's a, it's not a high-power impact wrench, okay? And you get the job site light. Don't, don't get the light free. <laughs> uh, I'd be happy with any of those. That'd be a great pickup. I'd probably go with the multi-tool just because you can do so much more with it. But uh, anyway, let's move along. Uh, I would not bother with the cobalt reset blades. Just wouldn't. 69 then standard metric mechanics tool set. Meh. Here we got the cube. We got the cobalt cube. I've bought several of these cubes. Given away a bunch of them as gifts. Everyone's just loves them. Thinks they're great. Uh, for $100, they're a great starter kit. The great giveaway to somebody who's going out on their own. To that brother-in-law who annoys the snot out of you because he's constantly bothering, borrowing your tools. Great tool there. The 24 volts, 500 CFM brushless cordless leaf blower is meh. It, it'll do dry leaves. I don't believe that 500 CFM. It'll do dry leaves. It'll do grass clippings. It's not a serious leaf blower. Uh, nice light for 100 bucks. The, the cobalt stack, I got to tell you, I've only been able to look at the outside of it. Built construction looks good. It looks good. Is it a $159 stack? I don't know. Uh, I'd like to see more units for it, more availability. Two, three hundred dollars on the saw. It's a decent saw, but again, that's a nothing to write home about kind of price. Flex. Let's talk about flex now. Flex tools are fantastic. They're also, at least until the end of this year, will they extend it? We don't know, but you can still get the founder's warranty. That's a lifetime warranty on the tools, lifetime on the battery with th up to three replacements. So uh, the, the way you can call that lifetime is if 70 years from now you need to replace a battery, they'll replace a battery, but they'll only do that three times. All right. So uh, select flex tool combo kit, buy one, get one. Oh, now we're talking. Uh, $200, that's going to get you that impact driver there. Two amp hour, blah, blah, blah. You get two batteries with the charger in the bag. Uh, the two tool kit there. How about the, the four tool for... You're, you're getting three tools. You're getting the for fifty dollars over this one. You're getting the resip and the uh, and the light. Definitely go that route. The job site radio. It's a cool radio. I have this radio. They sent it to me. Um, it's cool radio. I'm not taking it as my free tool. The vac. The vac looks cool. I've not had a chance to use it. Um, of all of these, what would I take? I would probably take another battery. To be honest, the blower's nice. The lights are nice. But either the, the either the and that's a small vacuum. That's one. That's a, I believe that's is that sixteen gallon? Because I thought it was one point six. I can't. I can't. Let me zoom in here. Oh, let's see if it'll let me zoom in. Oh, too much zoom. I overzoomed. Yeah, I think that's a one point six gallon vacuum. I don't remember them making a large vacuum. I could be wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. Feel free to flame me down below. Now look at this over here. This light. This is the light I showed there in the in the uh, when I went in store. Two hundred dollars. Nice, lo nice looking light. Um, we got the impact. Of course, one of the best impacts probably out there. Is it the most powerful? No. But could you use it all day long? Yes. It's got a lot of shock absorbing uh, features into it, and it's probably one of the nicest uh, high power impacts to use. Uh, all right, let's keep going here. Um, and high, high with an asterisk there, okay? 
I know somebody's got a ton of you, well, actually, folks out there. Well, you know, technically, because of blah, blah, blah. All right. Let's move along. DeWalt, perfect time to save on your favorites. It's the buy one XR get free. Okay. So, $300 here. It's going to get you the uh, the brushless combo kit here, uh, or you can get the batteries. Get the batteries. Why is this listed as XR? That is a brushless uh, includes the power stack. That's nice, but for three hundred dollars, that's a no fake. Oh, it's the hammer drill, and the brushless impact. Mm, I still take the batteries. Get the batteries. You probably already have a combo kit. We'll t we'll show the ones you want to do down here, and then get uh, I don't know. Maybe get another battery. Uh, <laughs> these are all good. I'll say multi tool. That's a good tool. Uh, the the grinder's good. The the jigsaw's fantastic. This little impact wrench is decent. The recip saw is nice. The circ saw is good. Uh, the router is good. Um, there's nothing bad with any of these. There's just ones I, I wouldn't get the sander. I wouldn't get the Bluetooth speaker. I, uh, yeah. The, 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 I'd probably go the multi-tool. would be the number one choice in that pack for me. But look at this. Here we go. Two-tool, 20-volt max XR Power Detect brushless combo kit. This is, the, this is the kit you want to go if you're going to be serious about getting into DeWalt. This is going to get you the impact driver and the, uh, the what should we call it? The, oh, what do you call it? The hammer drill, I believe it is. Uh, for $379 here. Um, the, and you get the, you get the two batter, or you get, how many batteries? You get a two amp and an eight amp hour battery, charger and soft case there. Uh, and you, then you get one of these. I would probably get the resip. I don't know. The grinder's nice. Cirque saw is not bad. Any of these three you'll be happy with or an 8 amp hour battery. Then we got some deals down here. $149. There's that multi-tool. I definitely recommend that. Um, let's keep going here. We got over here. There's a $400. Four tool 20 volt max brushless combo kit. Uh, maybe. No. All right, buy one, get one. This is the classic. Look at this. You're getting the 21 in, or 12 inch, 15 amp dual bevel side. This is, which miter saw is this? This is, I got to look up, see which miter saw this is, because that's kind of important. All right, I double check. This is not, I thought it was going to be the DWS 780. It's the 779. So no light. Uh, you're getting 449. Talk about full price on that was $600. Uh, who's paying $600 for the 779? And get this free. They're not getting it free. They just basically gave you a sale price. And then, it, yeah, that's not a deal. I mean, it's better than probably any, I don't know. No, it's probably not. Uh, here we got 20 volt and the 12 volt. The 12 volt from DeWalt. Remember, the, all the new 12 volt, the extreme, is all brushless. They're great tools. They are. Uh, and then, of course, I'll look out for the atomic set also. That's a compact set. And they're all brushless as well. Those are tools I can easily recommend. Easily recommend from DeWalt. Um, let's keep going here. Of course, the bit sets, anytime you get them around $10, they're, they're a good pickup. Fill up your, your accessories bag with that kind of stuff. Not a big fan of the blades themselves. Here's the skill. $59.88. We see that all the time on Amazon. That's not a big deal. $129. This is not a bad combo kit here. If you look at this, the, the 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 old school like amazing price was like eighty bucks for the combo of the drill driver, the impact batteries, and the charger. Well, then for the additional forty nine dollars, you're getting the speaker, and the multi tool, and the flashlight. That's a good deal. All right, if you're looking for a a night, this is a twelve volt line. Remember, skill here. Let me back up. All the skill brush or all the skill twelve volt are all brushless. Most of the batteries have USB ports in them, so you can charge your phone and stuff off of them. Most of the chargers have, I don't know if that one does, but most of them have a USB port on the charger as well. That's a great, small, compact DIY. I even know some people who do light-duty pro HVAC kind of stuff using these, and they like them just fine. Uh, Five-year warranty on them as well. Metabo HPT, again, one of the most underrated tool lines out there. 129, two-tool, 18-volt brushless combo kit. Boom, look at that. Remember I was talking about those other kits? They're, they're like, that's too, too pricey for that, too pricey for that. Here's a brushless combo kit with batteries, two batteries in a bag, two three-amp two three amp batteries. Not 1.3s, none of that. They don't cheese, you, cheese around on this. Three-amp hour batteries, two of them, and, oh, I'm sorry, a hard case, not a bag. I prefer a bag, personally. But that said, 
Remember, and Metabo HPD has that lifetime warranty. Now it's lifetime of the of the tool. As long as they're still making it, if they keep making this tool for another 20, 30, 50 years, then they're still warranting it. Uh, they're, they're not going to make it for 50 years. <laughs> anyway, we got Google Nest. I'm not a fan of the Google Nest products. Sorry. Um, I just don't, I, I tried to, because I, I do a lot of stuff with Google products, and I tried to integrate uh, with, instead of using the ALEXA devices, and I went back to ALEXA. She who shall not be named, as we say. Uh, Ring, remember Ring, they're the ones who were giving uh, footage to uh, law enforcement without contacting the owner of the device. Not very happy with that. Uh, Blink. Again, I'm more of a, I like the Wise products, W-Y-Z-E. They're inexpensive. They just work. Uh, they don't have, I guess, they're, they're not as hardcore about pushing you towards their plans. I mean, they, they do, but not as bad as everyone else. Uh, da, 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 the Beats by Dre earbuds, they're not bad. I don't think they're that amazing, though. For $90, it's not bad for wireless, ear, you know, high-quality wireless earbuds. Um, let's see, is there anything else here? No, no, no. Christmas, Christmas, and Christmas. Look at that thing. That'll hurt you. Uh, there we go. Stay bright. Eight-piece LED faceted bulbs. Got to go with the bigger bulbs, people. That's where it's at. I got 29, 25 count red and white C9s. The C9s, those are the big bulbs, okay? I'm going to do a video here shortly talking about the different kind of bulbs and, and the sizes and the ratios and all that kind of stuff. But C9 is, you're really rocking it when you're rocking the C9s. C7s are decent. C9s, that's where it's at. All right, we got some Christmas storage. Again, look at 40 foot, 16 gauge outdoor extension cord for four, 1358 Here's the step ladder. This is nice, more like folding stairs than a ladder. Twenty-two dollars on that one. We got some plushies over there. We got more Christmas trees, more poinsettias. Uh, I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right. There's Rudolph in the sleigh. Let's see here. Anything else? The Grinch. That's kind of creepy. All right. We got Kohler. We got American. Go American Standard. Got to go with American Standard. They got standard in the name. There's a reason. Here we go. Five tier, 72 inch, 40 inch width by 24 inch deep plastic shelving unit for $90. Uh, we'll match all your other craftsman stuff. Uh, and look, a Lane Furniture Rocker Recliner for $300 that was guaranteed to break within a year. Uh, we got appliances. Again, the one thing I'm going to say is don't do Samsung. If you buy Samsung appliances, I, I await your email uh, apologizing for questioning uh, my <laughs> what I say here. It, that's on you. Whirlpool, maybe LG. Stay away from Samsung. And, and this, do not buy the front loaders. I'm sorry. You, it, you know, my wife begged and begged and begged, and I conceded, and I learned my lesson. I shouldn't have done it. Stick with your traditional washer and dryer. There's a reason they, they're still around because they work. They're simple. They're, you're moving a lot of kinetic force there. And with a lot of caustic chemicals, keep it simple. Don't go with that super fancy stuff. You'll be fixing it in about five years. Uh, all right. We got the Blower Ego 650 CFM. They mean 650 when they say it. It comes with the battery and the charger for $200. If you're looking to dip your toes in Ego, that's a great way to do it. The Blackstone 2 Burner Gas Grill for $300. I'm going to say no. And I'm going to say no about all of these griddles. I know you like them, but you know what's better to do? Get yourself like one of those cooktops that I've been showing you where they're just burners and you could put, get this, don't tell anyone, you could put a griddle on it yourself. Rather than paying $300 for a thing that only is only a griddle, you can get yourself a cooktop that can act as a grill, can act as a griddle, you can cook up gumbo and soups on it and boil water, you can do all sorts of stuff with it. Don't get a dedicated griddle, that's just ridiculous. Hoverboard, that's a that's a $200 fast track to the ER right there is what that is. The scooter, $350, that's going to last about a month before the kids break that. Uh, crap, whoa, let's slow down here. $249 Craftsman 20 Volt Max Child's UTV Ride-On Toy. Does it take 20 volt platform? It's compatible, it does, oh my gosh. So this is one of those kids writing things that actually is built to use the Craftsman batteries. That's terrible. <laughs> I mean, 
And any other batteries, like if it was a DeWalt Flex Volt, that would be awesome. You could put a Flex Volt battery, that'd be great. But in this, I mean, Craftsman just, their batteries are expensive and they're not that great. I don't know if I would, yeah. It's a cool idea. I like the idea. Uh, let's keep going. We got the little giant there for $139. The Genie, this is a decent little garage door opener. It is. For $75, not a bad deal there. Shark Rocket Cordless uh, Stick Vacuum for $160. I like the Shark products. We've had good luck with them. Uh, we got the Warner Six Foot Ladder there for $68. Let's see, anything else? I think that's probably it. That is, that is all the deals. What did you think were the hottest deals that you saw? Were there any hot deals that were like, wow, that's amazing. It's Black Friday. I'm going to go to the store. I didn't see any. Uh, they, I think that, I think it's been, somebody commented before that it used to be they'd put these screaming hot deals on Friday to get you in the store. And they were so good you couldn't ignore them. And then the whole thing with COVID hit, and they stretched it out for a month, month and a half. And now what you get is you get five to six weeks of pretty good deals with a couple hot deals in, in there, but no, nothing compared to like the doorbuster deals we've seen of yesteryear. Anyway, stay tuned. We're going to find out as soon as we get the actual details for the day of over at Home Depot and some of the other stores will have uh, videos on that. So don't forget to chomp the old like button, smash that subscribe, ring the bell on the way out so YouTube doesn't know that you're not just joking about it. Anyway, you all take care. God bless. And as always, shine on.